Hello, and welcome to Cinemania. My name is Ellis Charles Hoffmeister, and today I'm talking about two films that I watched in the last couple of days, which were the 1985 film Once Bitten with Lauren Hutton, Jim Carrey, um, and Karen Copens, and the 1988 film Vampire's Kiss with Nicolas Cage, of course, uh, Jennifer Beals, Maria Conchito Alonso, Elizabeth Ashley, and Casey Lemons. Um, and of these films, I watched Vampire's Kiss first, and let's be honest, I had started both of these films before, and I'm a fan of the, like, vampire horror comedy genre. I'm also a fan of the genre of, like, a male is turning into a vampire or is a vampire, but you're not quite sure how much of a vampire they actually are, um... And with both these films, I had seen the first, I want to say 20 minutes, 30 minutes before, and neither one of them I had watched the whole way through. I was planning to watch uh, Vampire's Kiss and then Renfield because it's now streaming on Peacock and I haven't seen it yet and I know that I'm going to love it. Um, but instead, I ended up watching Once Bitten this morning, um, which is fun. It's, it's an 80s sex comedy, so of course there's definitely some content in there that would offend modern audiences. Um, as a gay man, I, I still laughed at some of it. It's, it's, you know, even quoted in the celluloid closet, um, for one particular scene, which I was like, yep, this feels like the eighties. Um, but the, the lines in it were so cheeseball that you also are like, okay, we know how this, um, has become a cult comedy, but of course, because it's an eighties movie, it has, homophobia, transphobia, things in it that modern audiences would go like, oh boy, there are a few other things as well where I was like, oh, that's noticeable. Um, but overall, it's a, you know, it's, it's a, if you like 80s comedies and can either, you know, see through some of the parts of it or just kind of like take them where, where they are, then you might enjoy it. It's Jim Carrey's first big film and it's his first lead film and he is adorbs. I'm just gonna say, and a lot of it when he's running around in his underwear. There's a whole thing about biting him on his leg, which is uh, hysterical, but he's a little cutie in this. Lauren Hutton is just like hot, hot, hot. Um, there is even a tiny cameo from Megan Mullally, um, which is a blink and you'll miss it. And I went, wait, what? I also didn't realize that Cleavon Little was in it, um, who's in, you know, Blazing Tattles and is amazing. And he also plays the gay butler, which is like very on the nose. So it's, you know, there are lots of things that modern audiences would go, oh boy. Um, but I had a fun time. I like, I like this, you know, I love Love at First Bite and I love, you know, Fright Night is the best of all of them because it's the best blending of horror and comedy and I was watching it this morning. Also a little bit of sexiness. Once Bitten also feels kind of sexy and also kind of like weirdly gay at the same time. So it's a very interesting mix and I'm always interested in that. Uh, and I also watched... Vampire's Kiss, which, okay, oh, I have to give, um, One Spitten. I would give One Spitten, I'd give it three out of five Jim Carrey upper thigh bite marks. Um, and Vampire's Kiss, I would give two at most out of five person trying to take a shit in an office while Nicolas Cage, Nicolas Cage is in a bathroom. Um, I would say I did not enjoy Vampire's Kiss as much. I enjoyed Cage's wild, wild, wild performance, and I understand why it is, it's his favorite performance. So that alone is worth seeing it. The problem with it to me is that you have all these amazing women, um, and it feels like one of them should be the clear lead and kind of all their story lines are kind of like, <laughs> so once it comes to the end and the things that are driving the plot, you're kind of just like, yeah, whatever. But it's fun to see, you know, it's fun to see in what's been 80s LA. It's fun to see in Vampire's Kiss 80s New York. Um, so if you like horror comedies, I think they're both worth checking out. I don't think I, I would watch Once Bitten again. It's, it's, you know, I just would. Um, I, I don't know that Vampire's Kiss holds a lot of weight for me, but maybe I'll grow to love it. Also, um, 
just a fun reminder that Casey Lemons, you know, was this actress that popped up in all these movies in like the 80s and early 90s and now she's this big director so that's always fun to see. But, you know, they both have their delightful cameos. Um, and if I was going to recommend a film, which is a very funny film to recommend during Pride Month because it is the bane of some gay people's existence, is the film Windows. It's the Gordon Willis, I think it's his only directorial feature, with Elizabeth Ashley and um, Talia Shire, which is wildly shocking even by today's standards and the the stalker lesbian movie um it's pretty interesting though and i love it so and as a gay man i feel like i can say that so whatever um but it's a lot of fun so i'd recommend it and if you don't want to watch that watch eve's bayou by casey limits because it's great okay have a great weekend